AI chatbots are gaining popularity around the world thanks to their uncanny ability to accurately answer our questions. They're being used for everything, from copywriting to answering exam questions. But despite billions of users around the world, very little is known on the environmental impact of AI. Just like you and me, artificial intelligence cannot exist without clean and fresh water. This water is used directly to cool AI's massive server rooms and also to indirectly produce electricity. The total water consumption of AI is called its water footprint. If you break it down in numbers, ChatGPT needs to drink about 500 ml of water during a 20 to 50 minute question answer session. Microsoft San Francisco data center used about 700,000 lakh liters of water to train OpenAI's ChatGPT3 model. GPT-3 had a combined water footprint of about 3.5 million liters in the U.S. Google's cell phone data centers in the U.S. consumed about 16 billion liters of fresh water. Microsoft giant data center complex in North Holland consumed about 84 million liters of water in 2021. So how does AI use and often waste water? Isn't that fascinating? Water is used directly to cool AI server rooms. The server rooms must always be kept cool, typically between 10 to 27 degrees Celsius to prevent any equipment manufacturing. Cooling towers are used to maintain a suitable temperature for every unit of electricity consumed by the servers. Cooling towers use a gallon or about 3.8 liters of water. Now this water vapor rises inside the cooling tower and is released into the atmosphere. This results in the water used by data centers not to be recycled in any way possible. Now the cooling towers at the data centers can use only clean fresh water. Seawater is not an option because of its high salt content that could end up corroding and damaging sensitive equipments at the data center. Data centers located in countries such as Sweden and Finland use less water because of the naturally cooler conditions in those countries. But in the Asia-Pacific region where the ambient temperatures are anyway higher, the need for water is much more. Now, many AI companies have pledged to make their system sustainable by 2030. Microsoft Data Center in Arizona saved water by using outdoor air to chill servers for most of the year. Of course, moves like this are dependent on hyperlocal conditions, but as AI becomes more intrinsic part of our lives, companies need to take responsibility and lead by example. Thank you for watching.